Welcome to the Elimination Tattoo. This is your chance to prove that you deserve $100,000, a feature in Inked Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. You'll be judged by Oliver Peck, Chris Nunez, and myself, but we're not your only critics. Each week, you'll also be judged by America. Viewers at home will scour every detail of your elimination tattoos at inkmaster.spike.com and vote for the tattoo that they think is the best. America's vote will have a massive impact at the live finale. We also have a very special guest judge. He's a musician and director of some of the most gruesome horror movies. Oh, wait a second. Rob Zombie. Ah, yeah, dude. <laughs> Rob Zombie! I have been a musician for a long, long time. Then I transitioned into making films. Anything dark, f***ed up, and weird is uh, what I like to do. Just drawn to the things that you're not supposed to look at, because they're always the most interesting. Cool, man. Badass. In the elimination tattoo, it's more important than ever to win tattoo of the day because the winner must put one artist up for elimination. This week, we're testing negative space. Negative space is the parts that you don't tattoo. It's everything that you build around the skin that you leave open. Today, negative space is absolutely essential because you must tattoo black and gray. Right. If you don't have enough negative space in a black and gray tattoo, the entire thing becomes dark and unreadable. You're only using black ink, so you have to let the skin peek through to represent all of your lighter areas. Today, you must tattoo a creature that appears in almost every culture wherever humans struggle with good and evil. A demon. Yes. Black and gray horror tattoos is something that I can do in my sleep. I do them all the time. This is awesome. Let's meet your canvases. Halo and Scott, you guys won the Flash Challenge. You now have the power to assign all human canvases together. This is a huge advantage, so do not waste it. Halo's just as threatened by sausage as I am, and we're gonna be gunning for him. What are you looking to get done? A few different succubuses on my leg. All right, sweet. I don't want to tell Scott that I'm aiming at Maddie, but I'm definitely trying to break the alliance up. I feel like it'll make Scott weaker. Looking to get a terror dog demon. Oh. A sexy, devilish demon. Right about how big? Big as you want to go. If you get a feminine demon, it might come off too pretty to actually look like a demon. So this is one tattoo that I really don't want to do. I like to get Satan flying out of my left thigh. I would like to get a gargoyle on this portion of my body. Can you see the canvas? Yeah. Blue skin, weight loss. Just sit normal, don't suck it in. Not sucking it in. No way. I'm really nervous because I really feel that there's a huge bullseye on my back. Easy, that's what yeah. I was thinking. Scott's my boy, so I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna be safe in this one. If you give him any, either one of those, he's probably gonna win. Mm -mm. I'm gonna have to make a lot of last minute moves if I'm trying to screw Maddie over with a skull under Scott's watch. There you go, bud. All right. Canvases, one by one, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. Halo. Melissa. Scott. Lydia. Sausage. Why me? How in the hell am I going to take this canvas, put on a winning piece? This skin is not tattooable. Maddie. Gentle J. What's up, buddy? Remember, guys, after the elimination tattoo, the human canvas jury will vote on the tattoo that they think is the worst and put one of you up for elimination. And the winner of Tattoo of the Day will also put an artist up for elimination. You will have six hours to create a terrifying black and gray demon. Based on your work, one of you will be closing shops. Good luck.